Welcome back. And in this next video of our exploration into patterns, I want to introduce you to some well-known and well-loved drum patterns in electronic and contemporary music. So far, we've been working on breakbeats and club beats. Let's kind of go deeper and find some other shapes and tools that you might throw into your production. So the first one I want to introduce you to is similar to what we've been working on, and that's a rocker's beat. This comes from Jamaican popular music and notably reggae and dancehall. I'm going to put a kick drum on every quarter note. And I'm going to put a snare drum on a third quarter note. Next, I'm going to do something we haven't discussed, which is turning the grid into triplets. I now have three subdivisions per quarter note. If I then add a hi-hat or a closed hi-hat on the last triplet subdivision, and maybe on this last part, I add an extra one, we all of a sudden have quite a cool swing. At this point, we might go mad with annotations and add triplet hits here and there to remind the listener of this underlying different meter. If I then lose these fun but distracting annotations, this core beat, even though it's very simple and very repetitive, definitely invokes a different feeling. And that's because we're using triplets. We almost have a polymetric composition in a very, very, very basic sense. We have a 4-4 four, four feel here. And in our hi-hats, we have a 3-4 or a 3-8. Okay, so there's lots of places you could take that. Rocker's beat. Let's try something new. I'm going to, again, add four kick drums. And I'm going to add a snare drum on the second eighth note. Sorry, the last sixteenth note. And then the second eighth note of this section. I'll duplicate that. Let's slow this down a bit. And now we have a very simple Mumbarton or reggaeton pattern. This we could almost look at as our 4 4 club beat for Latin American music. This underlines so many different genres. In this case, I'm going to turn my triplet grid on again, and I'm going to place a hi-hat here in the middle. And we're met with this wonderfully playful dissonance. Let's move it one to the right. And now we have an almost shifting kind of funk to it. And if we turn it into 16th notes, so once again, a dance between triplets and duple, simple timing. But in this case, this broken nature, this call and response, gives us a very different feeling. This part of the, of the pattern isn't the same as this part of the pattern. So we have a tension and release on a much smaller level. So a Latin beat, reggaeton. Finally, 
I want to do a two-step beat. We're going to start with hi-hats. And I'm going to duplicate that. And I'm going to go a bit faster, 130 something. And I'm also going to duplicate this pattern. So the key with a two step beat is there's a cool and response between the kick drum and the snare and there's a lot of space. We might turn these into triplets and these hits as well. Nonetheless, the important thing about this kind of structure is that there's a lot of space between the kick and the next kick, and it isn't so regular, much like a breakbeat. This creates this huge amount of space here that we typically would use for bass instruments or lower frequency sounds so that we have a nice clean mix. This kind of beat can be really fun to play on top of and to generate ideas from, because as I said, we have lots of space to play with. Great. So that's a few beats to put in your pocket and to use for another time. It's always good to refresh yourself of the different rhythmic structures that are popular around the world and think about how we could start from there instead of our usual habitual places. Have fun, practice, and I'll see you next time.